WVTM 13 Live Doppler is a big help to us as we track these showers and thunderstorms. Once again, rain falling in parts of the area. Now, it's not nearly as widespread as the monster storms that came through this morning, but nonetheless, we are getting some additional rain and the ground is already saturated. Lined up here, kind of a broken line over Marion County into Lamar, northern Pickens County, and one cell showing up as well in Greene County. All this is trying to move eastward. It's struggling to some extent because it's moving into air that's a little bit less unstable as it uh, does move further east, but nonetheless, I think for a while anyway, it will hold together. As you can see, steady west to east motion here. The storm in Pickens County is the one that's struggling most. It gets to the state line and then pretty much has a hard time moving eastward. We'll zoom in on that now. There had been a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for it back in Mississippi. Uh, it continues to try to move eastward. Assuming it holds together, we would look for it to get the reform about, about 443, coal fire about 425 or so. Again, I think it probably will survive, but it may be down to shower level by the time it does. Now I'm going to show you this one too. This is over Greene County and it's nothing tremendous here along I-20, but it is raining very heavily around Wilson Avenue, for example. And I show you that because of what happened last night and the last couple days. These are 48 hour rainfall totals and they're insane, frankly. I mean, look at these amounts, seven to eight inches in parts of Perry County in the western sections of Chilton County. Over all of southern Chilton County, we average probably about five or six inches of rain and the heavy stuff extended well west into southeastern uh, Tuscaloosa County near Vance and also in this finger here through Greene County and that's why that one cell I showed you there I wouldn't be shocked if that causes flooding even though it's pretty small that could happen there all right for seven o'clock tonight rain chances yes in the forecast they should be gone by 10 we don't think this is an all-night thing tonight we think it's over the next few hours that we deal with this this model would tend to back that up here are the storms here at five o'clock we go forward in time by seven o'clock they're weakening and a little bit beyond that point they are gone by 10 so overnight tonight should be essentially rain free and i think we could all agree we could use that seven day forecast looking like this for tomorrow then 40 percent chance of rain and hotter 89 for the high 90 on friday this weekend is going to be a hot steamy affair with highs in the low 90s there'll be some scattered storms each day especially in the afternoon and keep in mind any torrential downpours could lead to localized flooding a front comes through on sunday so there should be a drop in humidity early next week with more sunshine and a great reduction in the number of showers across the area. Guy and Sherry.